Hi folks, this is Sean Hyman from Chart of the Day, and I just want to talk to you about one of the crosses that I uh, follow. Uh, it's Aussie CAD, uh, and, and we could be looking at any pair here, but I just want to talk to you about a couple of facets. Um, one, uh, a lot of people will short a pair when a trend line breaks, and see this yellow uh, trend line to uptrend line, and see this one here is an uptrend line as well. Notice that both of these have broken but when it breaks it didn't necessarily mean that the uptrend ended the it just means simply that the momentum slows down or consolidates at the moment that's what that means so it, it, you don't instantly necessarily go from an uptrend to a downtrend you can have a, a sideways consolidation uh, and then a continuation of the uptrend or you can have sideways consolidation and, and go into a downtrend so one way that uh, let me pull these off of here now that we've discussed that one way that I found that I like to look at trends is to use a moving average or two. In this case, I've got several major moving averages up here. A 50 SMA, which is the black line, a 100 SMA, which is the purple line, and a green SMA, which is the 200 SMA. Um, and so you've got kind of a, a medium term moving average and medium term trend, a little bit longer term trend, a little bit longer term trend. When these are all pointed heading upward, you have a very strong uptrend overall. It doesn't mean that there won't be pullbacks along the way because there will. It means you have a strong uptrend. And notice that trends you know, don't necessarily change all that often. Uh, there's, one, there's one trend change on that one-year chart right there. When we back out to a three-year chart, you see these cross over once, twice, three, so four times in three years. So you're still fairly close to a true ch trend change only changing about once a year or so um, in this case you know once every maybe nine months or so so it's so what I love about uh, trends in the currency market they last a long time when the trend finally changes to where they're in the proper order the smaller average then the medium term average and the longer term average in that particular order you're in an uptrend uh, when they uh, when they duck below to where you have your long-term average on top, your medium one on, on in the middle, and your uh, shortest one at the time on the uh, on the bottom, then you're in a uh, full-blown downtrend. And so um, these these absolute trend changes don't happen that often. And I like to you know beat that into all of our heads, in, 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 and it's a good reminder for me as well. So I, I beat it into my own as well. In other words, don't fight the trend, don't fight the tape, don't fight the order flow. Uh, don't be one of the ones that tries to pick a top and pick a bottom, because you'll have people that it'll run up and they'll say it's a top, and then it'll end up running up again and blowing out their their short order, and then they'll say, okay, this was a top, and then it'll consolidate and they'll blow that out. And then they'll say this is the top, and it'll go down and it'll blow that out. So, you know, people will be shorting, 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 shorting all along the way. And finally, yes, finally, at some point in time, one will be a true top. But even when you get a true top in a market or a true bottom, they take time to form. Meaning, you know, this this took uh, a few months to to form between here and here. So it was a topping process. It wasn't a moment. It wasn't an event. It wasn't a day. Same thing, even when you get these spike bottoms, you still form most of your bottom over time from here to here uh, before you really take off into your next uptrend. So, you know, again, you had topping, uh, downward, sideways, up, sideways, down, etc. So since you're going to have that sideways basing period, it, do, it really doesn't pay to try to... Um, pick a top so if, if it looks something looks toppy and it pulls back you're better off buying the pullback and heading up again than you are trying to short and head against all the momentum because all the momentum is headed upward yes finally it will end up one day blowing through the moving averages and going through uh, downtrend but you're going to spend month after month after month after month in the uptrend before that happens then when you finally get your downtrend, you're going to spend months after months after months in the downtrend before you're going to go back into an uptrend again. So keep that fact in mind that whatever is in play, whatever is you know, happening at the moment is more likely to continue to happen than it is to reverse. Yes, there will be violent pullbacks. Yes, there will be swift corrections. Yes, there will be ones that uh, catch people by surprise and, and, and sometimes hit their stops. But you're, you're better off sticking with that trend than you are uh, fighting that trend and one thing about 
the currency crosses, and one of the reasons why I started the currency cross trader service, which I'd encourage you to check out, is that uh, I like to make recommendations in it because the the trends tend to go longer sometimes, they tend to go f- uh, further sometimes, and they have bigger percentage gains many you know much of the time than do their uh, counterparts that are the majors. Um, and so when you have long-lasting trends and trends that go further and trends that have bigger percentage gains, trends that continue on uh, longer rather than shorter, I, that's that's a combination I like. And so that's the whole reason why we started the Currency Cross Trader service. And so check that out when you get a chance. But in the meantime, I believe uh, I believe you learned something valuable here. And so don't be quick to call those tops. Don't be quick to call those bottoms. And use your common uh, simple moving averages to uh, to let that be your guide and to give you the direction of which direction to take a trade in. Thanks so much for watching.